Okay, so here we are with video 8.1. This is just a very short video I wanted to make in between uh, video 8 and video 9 because there will be some moments uh, along your uh, your t-shirt marketing path here applying this system and this recipe where you'll have to split test and this is inevitable if you want to make a campaign uh, a success. Many times you'll see from what I'll show you in the next videos on monitoring you see that the uh, stats look good but it's not converting so you might want to split test another targeting so right here 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 is how you do it okay I showed you already how to set up the campaigns and the ad sets to keep it organized but now because uh, inside the same ad set if you put multiple ads inside the set, same ad set it's gonna start Facebook is gonna try to show all those different ads uh, that are targeting different interests for example or different demographics with the same budget which is not a very useful thing to do because if Facebook is going to optimize one ad, one ad that has a little bit better stats and it's going to show it more and give more of your budget to that ad instead of uh, instead of um, dividing it evenly between all of the ads within the ad set okay that's why you don't let's say we're gonna split test on surfer that's why you don't create all your split tested ads within the same ad set you put each of your split testing ads within a different ad set okay so if I'm because I wanna spend 20 bucks on each of the uh, interest or each of the targetings I'm going after you don't wanna spend like six bucks on one and then twelve on the other one and then uh, uh, two bucks on the other one because Facebook decided it so you want to give the same opportunity to all of your ads and this is how proper split testing is done you put everything exactly the same and as I showed you the post ad is gonna be the same one the link is gonna be the same one everything is gonna be the same one but you're gonna be changing the interest and that's how correct split testing is done one change at a time and this is why uh, this the way to do it correctly is to create an entire different an entire similar ad and put it into its own ad set okay that's the one way I recommend and I do and the other way is you can have them all within the same ad set and just have it spent to have one activated and the other one deactivated while one spends the 20 bucks of one day you pause it and then you activate the other one on the second day and spend 20 bucks on that one as well okay that's that's the other way you can do but because I like to split this at the same time I make up those two uh, ads I put up those two ads within two different ad sets this way together with the URL tags I showed you in the earlier video in the uh, one of the earlier videos you can easily track which one of both are converting better so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a similar ad once you create it already your campaign you say okay now I want to uh, I want to split test this one uh, for another targeting what you're gonna do is if this one is targeting interest XYZ I'm gonna make it this one to target interest why 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 I don't know something like that okay uh, here it would be your specific interests you will target your specific interest like in this case let's say we're not targeting Kelly Slater but we're targeting Tah Barrow who is one of the surfers etc etc and the same exact as I said keep the same exact uh, opportunity give this uh, both ads the same chances and you do this by targeting the exact same thing on all of them like with the same demographics same ad same everything same headline everything and you change one thing at a time if you want to split test headlines you run two ads that are exactly the same thing to the same interest to same everything but changing the headline one thing at a time remember that in this case most of the times what you're going to be split testing is interests the targeting because this is given by me which is the uh, generic ad copy I gave you the pretty link is going to be the same one for all. The only thing is going to change in the back end is the URL tax to properly track where the conversions are coming from. And uh, as I showed you in the earlier videos, the image is going to be the same thing 
everything is going to be the same. You're just going to be split testing the targetings. And therefore, here, let's say I change that. So I adapt the URL tag to reflect this so that we can have the proper analytics inside our Teespring analytics. And then what you do is you create a new ad set so that you can run it at the same time and you call it surfer split test 2 for example okay that surfer split test 2 you put it on 20 bucks as well as I showed you in the early video so again just so you remember I'm recapping and Re and uh, repeating this so that it sticks. You just do all the same things. You just split test that specific variable you want to split test. In this case, the interests. And of course, you put it into the new ad set. And of course, you update the variable so that it reflects whatever you whatever you're targeting. Um, now, so twenty bucks bid for page post engagement, and you place the order exactly all the same. Now, if you want to split test again, you create a similar ad and go for that as well. As I showed you, we're going to be naming this after the interests we are targeting. Always the ad is named after what we're targeting. If we're changing different uh, ages, you name this ages, but uh, the, the specific ages you're targeting. In this case, it's the interests. Now, if we go back to the campaign we see surfer split test 2 and this was the surfer split test and this was the soplit <laughs> the split test 1 all right so there you go there we have both each of them on 20 bucks and each of them running to different targetings therefore and each of them with different URL tags that are forwarded through the pretty link to the Teespring link and therefore we'll see it in the analytics as I showed you in the previous video so this is all about it or for split testing do it this way or as I said the other way is have inside this inside the same ad set let's say this one it was inside the same ad set you can have two different ads one targeting this interests and the other one targeting the other interests and you activate one for one entire day and let it spend 20 bucks and then you act deactivate it and activate the new one and let it run through 20 bucks as well this is how you properly split test either the other way to do it at the same time or this way where you'll have to alternate between one and the other one uh, um, because if you don't do this alternating like this Facebook is going to take the one that has the better click rate and spend more of the budget on that one instead of the other one which is fine on one side but for proper split testing it's not because you want to really find out sometimes the click rate on one might be lower but your conversions might be higher so don't let Facebook uh, do your split testing for you and spending your budget on a one that Facebook thinks is doing better while in the back end it might be that the one that Facebook is not giving more budget is actually getting more conversions okay so this is why that's why you run them at the same time in different ad sets so that each of them has the same chances and the same budget, the same everything, and the same chances to give you proper data that you can then analyze and decide which one is the real one you want to keep on running. Okay, this is why. So I hope you uh, hope this made sense, and I'll see you in the next video. See you over there.